you've watched these children. Some as young as three tackle grown-up errands all on their own, with results that surprise their parents. But how do we put together these programs that requires filming skills from our production crew like no other? Hi, I'm Wen Lin. It's 9am and we are here at Marine Parade. Today is the day the production crew is doing a dry run for season 3 of Old Enough, the Singapore's edition. Filming a show that's based on trolling some very young children without them knowing and at the same time making sure they don't get in any danger requires a lot of careful coordination. So before filming the actual series, the crew is having a dress rehearsal of sorts. They'll have the help of parent Min, who has volunteered her four-year-old Kobe for a task. So today, uh, there are about 12 of us involved, so a number of cameramen, soundmen, but we also have some people who are responsible for the safety of the kids. We make sure that, you know, if he does have to cross the road, he does it safely. One thing about uh, Old Enough is that we try as much as possible to film it in a way that the kid doesn't know that we are filming them for two reasons. Firstly, we want the kid to act as naturally as possible. The second reason is also, you know, so that the viewers, you guys watching at home, don't see, you know, cameramen all over the place, right? So we try our best to sort of disguise the, the cameras as best as we can. There's a camera hidden in a toolbox, a camera mounted on a trolley under the guise of a tote bag, and even one planted in the house. So now I'm trying to conceal the camera. Hopefully the boy won't notice my camera. My task is to just pretend that I'm doing something there, say digging the soil maybe. And the crew has to find a sneaky way to plant a mic on Kobe without him knowing. I'm putting the mic transmitter inside this small bag and the mic is going to be hidden inside the strap itself. So it will just wear the bag and he won't even know there's a mic there. The main thing that I'm worried about is that the kid is going to wonder what's inside this bag. He's instructed not to open the bag so I hope he listens to his mum's instruction. I think one role that not many people know about is the watch out mum. It's actually watching out for the safety of the kid and helping the kid to be aware of like safety hazards along the way that the kid might not be aware of because they are so engrossed on their task. Honestly, for the upcoming show, I think it's quite scary in a sense because there's too many things that we cannot predict per se and also because we only get one take for the whole process. But first, in case you've been living under a rock and don't know anything about this series, here's a quick backgrounder. So Old Enough is a sort of reality show that originated from Japan. Uh, it's been running for a few decades. Uh, basically, the idea is that you know you get kids to run errands on their own without you know parents' supervision. So the idea behind Old Enough is to show that kids are perhaps a little bit more independent than we think they are, and they're a lot more capable than we think they are. So it became popular, I guess, more recently when Netflix uh, bought the rights to it. But then I'm happy to say that you know we took note of the series before Netflix. Netflix did. We purchased the rights from um, Nippon TV, where the, where the show is from, and we sort of reformatted it for a Singapore audience. So there was a series in 2018, one in 2019. The response has been quite good. And that's why we sort of decided to bring back the third season this year uh, after the pandemic. So earlier this year, and there was a casting call put out uh, for parents who might want to see their kids on Old Enough and the response was quite warm. Overall, it was about 30 or 40 parents who wrote in. Okay, so this season, there will be four episodes and each episode, you will see two families. The youngest child is about three years old and the oldest one is about uh, just over five years old. Now everyone's ready for the dry run. Are you feeling thirsty? Is it? Hey, hey, what yes? is this? Oh, this is uh, the gardener put here. Do you see the gardener there? Oh, okay. This, what? this is This is the gardener's uh, equipment we don't touch, okay? Mama, just remember I need to pass uh, Jenny's tete, the plant. Tete is at the playground now. Um, I, I can't go, Kobe, because I have to look after yeah, the gardener. So, uh, are you able to help me to pass? But there's also one more thing you need to do after you pass to Jenny's Tete. You need to collect a pizza. As part of his challenge, Kobe has to carry the plant, walk about 300 meters, take the zebra crossing, and pass it to Jenny's, who's waiting at the playground. Once done, he has to pick up pizza from Uncle Kevin at the side gate of the condominium before he heads home. All right, you ready to go, Kobe? Yeah. Bye. You can do it. 
The crew goes on alert as the main star of today's show sets off. Unknown to Kobe, a watch-up mum and a handful of crew chill carefully as he walks to the main street. The crew runs ahead so that they can overtake Kobe and capture him in time as he reaches the first obstacle of his mission, the zebra crossing. To hide from Kobe, some of the crew have planted themselves. Now, Kobe needs to find Janice as instructed and pass her the plant. This is for me? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Easy peasy. Kobe needs to return to the park. Uh oh. It seems like he's distracted by a tree branch. The crew takes this opportunity to run and reposition themselves to capture Kobe crossing the road again. Now, the last step, Kobe has to carry everything home and the crew makes one final spring to capture his journey back home. You're back! You're back with the pizza! You did it! I brought a stick. You found a stick? How do you feel? How do you feel? Happy. Happy? Why do you feel happy? Because I like the... Because very shocked. You know how Mama feel? Happy. I feel very proud of Kobe. Shall we do a high five? Oh, we just finished our run. I think it went much smoother than I expected. It was very game for the whole task. He was quite intrigued by the mic pack that we hit the things. What's inside? Can we open this? Or cannot open? I mean, it might become a distraction for the future kid. We have to go and think about is there a problem that we need to solve? Anybody got busted? At one point, maybe he was a bit confused about how come there are so many people following us, but he didn't approach any of us to ask what we're doing in that kind of thing. Sometimes if the, the producer feels like the kid needs a reminder of the safety precautions or if the kid is in an unsafe position, then yes, the producer can step in. We're still supposed to just treat him like a normal passerby. So the boy's pouch was dangling around quite a lot and he was fiddling with it and playing with it so that we will try to fix better for the next round and maybe we'll, we'll ask the mother to, to get the boy to wear it in a certain way so that the mic is more secure. I find it too smooth because there's no drama so no. He was back home in 30 minutes. What happened was he came back and it started to drizzle. So usually I would prompt him, oh could you help me bring uh, certain things in? But I was very surprised to see that he just automatically took the spoon and he did it by himself. The, the change in him that I saw right, was almost immediate. And how do you feel about the crew? I definitely uh, feel very assured. Uh, I think it was great that Glyn even sent me some photos and uh, photos of the crew following it. I could actually tell that uh, he is safe and um, he's in good hands. I think in general, we sort of got what we wanted. Small hiccups were. The kids started running, so it was a good exercise for us not to freak out the kid too much by standing too close to him or surrounding him like an entourage. Uh, and also, if he starts running, I guess we have a few days to get our cardio up. Uh, as to what you guys can look forward to, to be honest, your guess is as good as mine because we're all working with kids. Well, Cannot get lost, huh? Who's all chin wen? I want to go. Go, go. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for season 3 of Old Enough. Meanwhile, check out Cine Insider for more videos and hit the subscribe button.